Here we are for the fifth fight this evening. We've got Q Ika Seats and uh, he'll be in the red corner. The man from Thailand currently residing in Echuca. And he's coming up against Ibrahim Abu Salah, who's going to be 17 wins, five losses, and got that one KO. He's only 20 years of age. And he's out of the PT, sorry, PTJ Muay Thai gym in New South Wales. In New South Wales, that's great. Now, PTJ Gym in New South Wales, a very, very high credible gym, and they've got some really amazing great fighters out of there. I haven't seen Ibrahim fight before, but I'm, I know Q very, very well. He's he trained down at my gym for a short period. Um, however, I have seen him quite a fair bit, and I just love this kid's style, I really do. He just, for a 60, 59 to 61 kilo boy, he is so damaging. So Q Ikasi, 38 years of age, the Thai. And he's coming up against the 20 year old nickname Ibby. And you know, once again, you look at the queue, he's had something like 130, 140 fights, give or take, where, you know, Ibby over here is only down on 23 fights. And it's, that's great, you know, it's a good step up for him. I'm sure he'll learn a lot tonight. But then again, who knows, he might take out the win. So the experienced campaigner will be in the red corner. And Ibby, with the 70 wins to five losses, will be coming out of the blue corner or fighting out of the blue corner. And uh, it all leads into the main event, which is a little later on. Alexander Petrullius and Polunchok the Thai, an experienced campaigner. And the semi-main event, don't forget that, WMC state title up for grabs. Mr. Jay Daly training under Chris Bradford, AK-47, against Reef Struts. Just about set here, the sponsor for this fight will be Shout Out Loud, and this will be five by three minute rounds. Full tie rules. So a little longer for both fighters to sort of get, get in the swing of things, take their time and systematically look to break down one another. And we are just about set here. Midway point of the fight card. Hardcore Promotions number three. What a start has got off to, for me, the fight of the night so far was Daniel Newen and Kahal Lee. Kind of fact, yeah, and the one before that as well, too, was really good. Yeah, Lorana Foster and Danielle Franks. So he's has, had some good quality fights, all set up for this one. Fight number five. 
this is your true traditional Thai style of fighting where the both boys are just so relaxed, just trying to suss each other out, feel their way. EB in the white trunks and Q in the black trunks. On the back pedaling ropes here is Q. Q coming forward, smiling the smiling assassin and Ibi on the back foot, looking to counter. Right hand there from um, Ibi, the 20 year old out of New South Wales, Gladsville. Q, a real experienced campaigner, Joe Nader. Yeah, they're looking to see both boys are very, very composed and relaxed. You're still trying to fill their way out. It's a five rounder, so you won't see a very strong start. And the referee goes down with few as he's been taken down. The catch and take down. The referee on his backside, but he's up now. Just assessing one another. Q coming forward with a smiling assassin face. A nice push kick there from Ibi. The 20 year old, 18 amateur fights. He's a Massa New South Wales state champion. And his last fight was four weeks ago, actually in Pattaya, Thailand, where he got the victory in a stadium fight. And he made his pro debut June 2019 last year. That's Ibi, and he um, defeated a state champion at the time. He'd be keeping his hands up high, aware every shot that Q sort of throws. Q ekas it. Nice left hand there from Ibi in the southpaw stance against the orthodox Thai. Nice body kick. Ripping body kick there from the 20 year old. You keep coming forward. Hasn't thrown too much. He hasn't thrown nothing at all, really, but he's just still trying to find that range and see what he can do and what he can't do. But full credit to Ibi, just not giving him much of an opportunity, is he? Nah, he's on his toes, ready for everything. Nice slingshot right hand moments ago from Ibi. And you have a look at him, he's on the back move, but he's so effective on the back move, Ibi. Like yeah. He's not coming forward, he's always taking that little step back, trying to keep that range, just trying not, not to crowd himself, and, and just picking his targets and hitting them really well. Yeah, definitely comfortable off the back foot, Nice Ibi. ground. Nice stuff there from Q. But Ibi, some nice defensive work on the ropes. Ten seconds remaining in round number one. Q coming forward, not landing too much. Anything of high notes brings an end to round number one. But for me, Ibi did enough in that first round to take it 10-9. Yes, I'd have to give it to the blue corner there. But you know of the ties, because it's a five-rounder, they always seem to start off very slow and they come strong in the third, fourth and the fifth. But, you know, Ibi's smart. He's taken out the first. If he can keep that pace up and take out the second, he's halfway there to win in the fight. So we'll see how the second round plays out, which will begin shortly. As they're just stretching Ibi out here and Q... Well, the trend will continue, I do believe. I think Q will keep coming forward. That's Ica Seat in the red corner, but needs to throw a little more. He does. And here we are, round number two, beginning right now. Q starting off in the southpaw position. 
What a nice left hand there from Q from the southpaw stance. He's a switch hitter, loves to change from southpaw to the orthodox. Give his opponent different looks. Body kick there from Ibby. Some slick defensive work there from Ibby, the man from New South Wales. Composed in centering the tie, Q Ikasit. Both fighters touch gloves in the center of the ring. Waiting for the right moment. Eyes fixed here for Q. A nice low kick there from Ibi Abu Salah. 17 wins, 5 losses, looking to make it 18 tonight. Right hand nice there. Nice right hand, followed by a nice round kick to the body there by Ibi. Nice variation there from Ibi with that right hand. Counter punch work. Push kick there from Ibi. A low kick from Q. Like a seat. And the bulldozer coming through the tie. Currently residing in Achuka. The man from Achuka. A nice body kick there, the tie. The Massa New South Wales state champion, though, Ibi. Tries to take down his opponent. And he does. And nice sportsmanship from both fighters. Respecting one another in this fight. Backpedaling towards the ropes, Ibi, but he's real comfortable there, Joe Nader. He is very, very comfortable on the back move, and I love that. I love that because not many fighters can actually be so damaging on the back move, but Ibi seems to be very comfortable doing that. And as you see there, there's the elbows driving into Q. Nice slashing elbows there from Ibi Abosala. He's had some great wins in his career. He had a four-week camp and trained in Thailand eight weeks prior to that. So he's definitely geared up and ready for this fight, no doubt about it. The man in the white trunks. And it shows, it shows. Only 20 years of age. A lot of upside in his game on the Muay Thai scene. A slashing right elbow there that hammered off the head of Q Iker Blood coming out of the nose of the Thai. Sustaining those shots to the face. He gets taken down there. I think that's an eight count. A knockdown has it's been ruled. Count. I love the composure of this boy and just what he can do. I mean, the guy's had maybe a fifth of the amount of fights that Q has, and he's probably half the age of Q, but, geez, you got to give him credit. This is his 23rd fight, Ibi. Jumping in, elbow, 10 seconds. The referee thought the fight was stopped, but there's 10 seconds remaining. A little less now, maybe five. And that brings an end to round number two. So that's that's two rounds now. And two rounds. I'll give it to the blue corner with that eight count takedown. There was a little bit of confusion with the fighters thinking the, the round was over. I've never seen Q so, um, what's the word for it, he just, he's a little bit lost, he cannot believe, I think he might have taken this guy a little bit lightly, he wasn't expecting that kind of a, a, a performance from Ibi, but you know, Ibi is just taking everything to Q and has pretty much just teaching him a bit of a lesson. Yeah, definitely seemed me a little shock there in the red corner, a little flat tonight Q, I can see it. but Very. can he lift in rounds three, four and five if it goes the distance? Well, we will know after this round here, because the third round is when they really start to fire up the ties, the third, fourth, and fifth. And if he doesn't fire up this round, that means uh, I think the fight will go to the blue corner. Yeah, there's a long way coming back. If he loses his third round or gets dominated in the third round by Ibrahim Abu Salah, nicknamed Ibi. Definitely a distinguished amateur career with those 18 fights and that New South Wales state amateur title. Stretching him out again, the corner of Ibi, yeah. training under coach Andrew Parnham and also Singh Tayak. I know you're a little bit, mate. And Hardcore Promotion 3 definitely lived up to the hype so far and the big fights are still to come. But we're midway through this fight and round number three. Ibi's up and walking around. He wants to go, he wants his fight to go ahead. He's, he's we're accused in the corners are still a little bit trying to grab himself and find where he's at at the moment. I think he's a little bit shocked with the, uh, the eight count that he copped. 
So three points down unofficially, of course, the man from Thailand, and he's got all to do in this round. A bit of a firefight in the early stages here in the third round. Both fighters in a clinch, an elbow there. Some better stuff from the Thai as he comes forward with his hands held high in the piggy boo stance. Controlling now in the early stages of this third round, the tie. The output has definitely lifted here. A right hand from Ibi. Trying to go for the body kick, but a catch and take there from Ibi Abulsala. And he's on his game tonight. There's no doubt about it, Joe He is indeed, he's indeed. There's been a few takes down now. And you know what? To be able to take the ties down at their own sport, it is something, isn't it? Q keeps smiling, he's got blood coming down his nose, he's trying to show that he's not phased at all. But Ibi's just got that same composure, they're working at this, and there's a takedown now by Q. So a takedown from the tie there in Ica Seats. A much better showing here in round number three, but he's got to make up some ground. Got his man in the corner there. But look at that stuff on the, sort of the counter-punching work has been of a different class tonight from Ibi. Frustrating his tie opponents and landing those clean shots at will. Ibi's landing about four or five shots to the end of his hands. He's at full throttle tonight, Ibi. Has not stopped at all. But the tie keeps the coming elbow. forward. A beautiful left elbow there. Another on, elbow. On the and forehead. They're exchanging elbows now. That's where the damage is going to be done with the elbows. Elbow exchanges in this third round. Entertainment of the highest order on Hardcore Promotions 3 Live Combat Sports. Thanks for joining us here tonight at the Ultima Function Centre. Right hand there from Ibi. He tried to unload a kick there. Q Ica seat, but they not land. But those right hands from Q are landing here in round number three. And there's the right elbow again. And there's a stunning right elbow moments ago from Q Ica seat. And if there's any round he's going to take, it might be this round. It has to be this one. Like I said, the third, fourth, and fifth is when they really start to fire up. And it goes to show. The experience has lifted in round number three as we head to deep waters. As both fighters on the canvas, 10 seconds remaining. What will happen in the final stages of round number three? A right hand from Kudo in, the, in that round. That was a very aggressive round from both fighters there, and I think Q sort of started to... A tight round, no doubt about it, but I think Q Ica seat there. The man reciting in a Chuka might have snuck it, so he's two points down unofficially. Two points down, yeah, but that's, you know, he's got the fourth and the fifth round now to redeem himself and maybe take the win. But, you know, look, the fight hasn't changed much because from, from the first round, I mean, Ibi's been working, always moving back, moving back, trying to keep that distance and being, being effective, where Q's trying to be the aggressor. Um, now they're sort of starting to both clashing close and trying to work their elbows more. That can be a little bit risky when you're two rounds up to try and exchange those kind of blows. Definitely is sustaining the front foot style of his opponent, Q. That's Ibi Abusala, or Abusale, I should say. As they're giving him some water in the corner and he'll be good and underway for round number four. Deep waters now, and this is where champions are made. In fight number five, Hardcore Promotions number three.
Just about set here. You heard it from John Demacoli, round number four underway as the same trend is continuing. Q coming forward. Beautiful body kick there from Q as the crowd roared and an inside knee there to the midsection. Great spin around and right knee to the body. Fight by Q. The excitement machine in Q stalking his prey in centre ring. Sweat coming off the head there of Q from a right hand of Ibby and a body kick from Q. The output has definitely lifted here, Joe Nader. Well, certainly changed it. And as I was saying before, you'll see as the fight, as the rounds go on, he'll be a beautiful left elbow to the cross of the face by Q. A slashing left elbow there from Q. Ica seats. There's another one there. On the cheekbone area there of Ibi Abusola. As the referee separates him in round four. This is where fights are won from this round onwards. Stalking his praise like a ghost. Keeps coming forward. Changing the levels nicely here. The man from Thailand. Just working those knees to the body. Targeting the midsection, the breadbasket region. A nice inside move there from Ibi, but a right uppercut there. And those knees are really yeah, damaging his opponent, Ibi. He's wearing him out very, very slowly there. He's wearing him out. Just misses with a body kick there. He's on top of his opponent. And the crowd is heavily involved in this fight. Getting behind Q like a seat. The Victorian resident, a lot of support here tonight. Via Thailand. But he wants the W. He's, for me, unofficially down two points here. So an all-important fourth round. Body kick there from Q Ica seats. Stalking the prey. And those knees are taking its toll on Ibi Abusala. Look, Q's really stepped it up and he's changed the tempo very, very much. He's taking his toll on Ibi, and I think if Hugh continues going the way he's going, he's going to do some really serious damage to Ibi, and he might just take the win and finish the fight off early. Definitely a high tempo here in round number five. Another separation there, but Q with a switch hitter doing some great stuff here. A nice body kick there from Q. A little bit of reddening there on the abdominal region of Ibi. A lot of those kicks have been sustained for Ibi. Towards the back end here of this round. End of round four. What a round there from the tie. For me, he's one point down unofficially. Look, I, I, I think this is it now. This is the fifth round. Is it? Can he? If he wins his fifth round. You know, he'd be sitting there in the corner. So a break in play here. The final break before round number five. All set here. Hugh needs to lift in this fifth and final round. He's lifted in the last two rounds. He might need a knockdown or a real dominant round to take this W. What are your thoughts, Joe Nader? I think it's been a great fight so far. I give the first two rounds to the blue corner, the second two rounds to the red corner, and this is the decider. But as you can... Round number.
number five, PT, PT Jay Muay Thai there, looking after that troop, Ibi. And Q Ica seats coming home like a freight train, like a thoroughbred. Will he get the W? We have to wait and see. All comes down to this. See, Q's game plan at the moment is to get in there and just store as much damage as he can of those knees and elbows. Because he has worn him out and he can rough him up a little bit. Where Ibi, on the other hand, like to be that spacious and sort of picky shots from that distance and be more comfortable down there. Yeah. Where Q really wants to get in there and just cause some damage to him to win this fight. Yeah, the distance has definitely closed here in the last couple of rounds in terms of Q's pressure getting in tight. He loves it in tight, but Ibi Abusala needs a bit of space to use his long leverage, but he's using some good effects here. A nice right knee to the midsection, followed by the elbow. Toe-to-toe -to -toe stuff like it's been all night. A right hand there from Ibi on the back foot. Composed in centering. Now Q backing up. You can't afford to sit back, Q. He knows you've really got to do some work and keep coming forward. When he was coming forward before and keeping it in a tight fight, as, as, as we see right now, I think that's where he was causing most of the damage. The difference could be that knockdown. I think so. Ibu up the Sala for me. He's up by one point unofficially. He's coming forward in round number five, really catching the sort of judge's eye. It's probably the first time in the whole fight we've seen Q moving backwards where Ibu's trying to take control coming forward. Got his man in the red corner now and ready to unload those shots. Brutal shots coming the way here. Predominantly most of round number five has been in the trenches. In the phone booth here, looking for those elbows, but another separation will happen. Towards the back end of round number five now. He's cooling, centering Q Ica seats. A lot of experience, the man in the black trunks, but Ibu Abasala, a lot of upside to his game. The bearded burglar is coming forward. Looks at that left elbow, but does not connect. And it's taking him down again. A big time takedown there from Ibi as the crowd roars to the final bell. Those inside knees from Ibi slightly catch the midsection. But his front foot style here in round number five might have taken this round. I think it might have to give it to him, yeah. I think just coming forward, he's really turned it around again and changed it. Ten yes. seconds remaining. Q caught him with a hand. A beautiful spinning elbow there. And caught him with a left glove. That was Ibu Abosala. What a fight. Another candidate for fight of the night. But if you have to pick a winner for me, the white, so the man in the white trunks has done enough by two points. I think you have to give it to the man in the white trunks because of the knockout, simply for the knockout. But also in that last round, uh, Q didn't come out the aggressor and took control, where Ibi became the aggressor towards the end. And you'd have to give it to the blue corner, I would say. But then again, we're the commentators. as John Demacoli will bring us the final decision shortly of fight number five.
Well, Jordan, I think we got this one right. Yeah, he's the victor here tonight. Ibi Abusalva, 20-year-old. He'd be going home a very, very happy man to be jumping in the ring with someone over 100 fights and take the fight like that and actually win. You've got to give credit to this young man. Definitely, 20 years of age. Sort of definitely one of the biggest wins of his career. And he moves to 18 wins on the professional scene. Whilst Q, he'll keep fighting. He's 38 years of age. Definitely a lot left in the tank.